hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's nice having you here my name is tamara of tamara fashion style and i'm happy that you guys are here now if this is your first time here thank you for joining me and thank you for joining my channel now subscribe hit that notification bell so you guys won't miss any video from me right and share my channel so that others can benefit just as how you benefiting remember don't be selfish right so now this was a tutorial what i'm doing here for you that was highly requested right because sometimes what happened most of you have these tools and maybe you don't even know how to use this tool right because sometimes a lot of we have tools in our sewing room and we don't even know what is for right what uses this tool is for what you're doing with it how to use it or whatever right so this video was requested from um some subscribers was asking me how to use a button ruler maybe most of you have these tools or most of you may not have this tool that i'm using but as designers and sewers and seamstress and tailors a lot of us have these tools that we use because it is a must so if you want to see what was requested stay tuned and let's get into the tutorial so that we can learn how to use this tool so now the tool that was requested in showing how to use is the button rulers right now i have four button rulers here but these are two small ones so these buttons that i won't be demonstrating this one i would more use this one here so we have two set here so we have this one here right and we have this one here now i'm going to show you how to use both of these tools because most of you will have these tools in your sewing kit or like or some um something like this that i have here right so the first thing i'm going to do in demonstrating how to use this one here i'm gonna demonstrate how to use this ruler and i would let you know the information right on this ruler now when you look at this ruler here i'll bring it close up to the camera you see we have some buttons here now you have extra large button you have a large button you have medium button and you have small button now the small button is this one at the end here which measure which measure one centimeter right now the medium size button is this one here which measure 1.5 centimeter the large button is the one that measure um two centimeter the extra large button is the one that measure 2.5 centimeter now they have some guideline here for the button holes to show you just a guideline on how you can um, draw out your button hole on your fabric now for your um forget these marking onto your fabric or onto your paper you have to use like a mechanical pencil you know the very fine tip pencil so that it can reach through here and mark out this button hole because no pencil ordinary pencil could go through this button hole to mark them out so use the mechanical pencil if you have this on your ruler and you can use the um pattern that they give you right here now we will focus in more on this bu um, button here right so i give you all the measurement here now i'm going to show you how to place these on lines wherever you prefer your buttons to be now i'm gonna get i'm using a white background here so that you guys can see and visualize clearly on what i am doing and the reason why i'm using a white background is because you can see there see the object right onto the white background what i am doing and you can get an understanding or an idea right of what i am trying to explain to you or demonstrate to you right so you can learn okay and you can see exactly what i am doing so before further ado let's get into it so i'm gonna demonstrate this ruler here first i'm gonna take this ruler and i'm gonna draw down a line down this line here this is just a guideline right i'm gonna use the black marker 
this is just a guideline here okay i'm going to make a next guideline here and i will draw that in there that's just a guideline right that is not no measurement that is the anything so let's say you want your center front to be here let's say this is your center front here you want to place your button here right or any thing you want to place a button now whether it is, is a um a throw pillow whether it's just um a purse whether it's your center front of your clothes your side front of your clothes wherever you want to place your button that's up to you right so for use this here i'm gonna use demonstrate the buttons on this so i'm gonna take the largest button here which is the extra large and i'm gonna place it here and I'm going to mark it room. I'm going to dry it room. So this is the extra large button that I have here. Now this extra large button measure 2.5 um, centimeters. So I'm going to write 2.5 centimeter here. All right. Now the large button measure 2 centimeter. So I'm going to mark this in right here i'm gonna mark that in it there and let me use a different marker and this one here gonna be two centimeter all right so that's gonna be two centimeter that is the large arm um, button the button right because remember the large the extra large one is 2.5 centimeter which is this one here the um the large button is two centimeter now the medium size button is 1.5 centimeter all right is 1.5 centimeter so 1.5 cm okay the small button is one centimeter which is here okay one centimeter so this is the smallest button here so this is one centimeter all right so now let's demonstrate this so the la extra large button is 2.5 centimeter the large button is 2 centimeter the medium button is 1.5 centimeter and the small button is 1 centimeter now you want the, the the button to fit into the buttonhole right now just as how you measure right the um you know this button here is 2.5 centimeter we want to add like a um half centimeter or a quarter centimeter on each side of this um this button hole right so let's say we have a button hole 2.5 centimeter right now this is 2.5 centimeter so we're gonna get this button hole let me just put on uh, my eyes as you guys can see because without the little eyes you know if i tie it on 40 the eyes get them so we want to measure this button here so this button measure 2.5 centimeter so we have 2.5 centimeter here so i'm gonna find a place here and i'm gonna put 2.5 centimeter which is here right so 2.5 centimeter i'm gonna measure that there so i have that mark there so now I want to put, um, so each, this, um, buttonhole, I'm going to divide it, right? So 2.5, I'm divided in half, right? So I'm going to take 2.5 of this, um, buttonhole here, and I'm going to divide this in half, okay? So let's put it here and let's divide this in half, all right? So I'm going to divide this in half here. Okay. I'm going to divide this in half. 2.5 in half. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to bring the next one. And I'm going to put that there. Right. Now the buttonhole is 2.5. So we're going to mark the 2.5 here. For this buttonhole there. But now remember. We can't make the buttonhole direct 2.5 centimeter because it's going to be tight 
before it go in so we must leave a quarter inch here we must add like a quarter centimeter here so let's say we come out quarter centimeter here all right and we come out quarter centimeter here this too wide quarter centimeter quarter centimeter here okay let's say we come out quarter centimeter here quarter centimeter there so this button will have to start from this end here right here to this end here okay so your 2.5 centimeter plus quarter centimeter on each side right this gonna represent this button here okay therefore this button hole gonna represent this button here the 2.5 centimeter button gonna represent this button hole here. my button hole here is 2.5 centimeter plus quarter centimeter on each side right so you get half centimeter and divide it in half so you get quarter on each side now for the um for this one here right let me just get the next marker so for this two centimeter buttonhole we need to um dry in the two centimeter we're gonna find out the distance two centimeter I'm gonna just get a marking or I'll just show you two centimeter here right two centimeter so I'm gonna divide two centimeter on each side here I'm gonna divide two centimeter on each side okay on each side all right and i'm gonna dry in this so this here gonna be the two centimeter button hole right here but i still have to add quarter inch at each side so i'm gonna put my quarter inch here quarter inch here so this gonna be where my button start from right here so this two centimeter plus half inch centimeter quarter on each side so this is 2.5 centimeter so this represent this button hole here all right you can remember we cannot make the button hole direct as how the button measure we have to leave room for the button going okay so this one here is 1.5 centimeter so let's say you you, you make you, you, you draw out 1.5 centimeter for your button and then you put quarter inch on each side of the button all right so this is going to be two um centimeter this one here going to be two centimeter so you make the 1.5 two centimeter the button hole where you're going to, you got a stitch here and then you're going to stitch the so this one represent this here the 1.5 centimeter so this here right you have the big button this one is 2.5 centimeter so you make this button hole three centimeters on each side right you put no you put um quarter inch quarter inch so the extra large button it measure 2.5 centimeter you make the button hole three centimeters so on each side you put quarter inch quarter inch so you add a half centimeter more to, to, to this so this one here gonna be three centimeter okay let me just mark it so this gonna eventually be three three centimeter okay this is the two centimeter button this is the large button right so instead of making the button hole two centimeter for for fit a two centimeter button we gonna make this two and a half centimeter so this gonna become two and a half centimeter right which is 2.5 centimeter right so the two centimeter button gonna become the button hole gonna be 2.5 centimeter right now for the 1.5 centimeter button which is the medium size one on the ruler 
you're going to make the buttonhole 2 centimeter. So this is going to become 2 centimeter. Because remember, you, add, you cannot make the buttonhole. I repeat, you cannot make the buttonhole direct as 1.5 centimeter. How the button passing through if you make it too tight? You always have to add a quarter inch. Right? So this 1.5 centimeter button, you make the hole 2 centimeter wide. Right? Or two centimeter long okay this one centimeter button we draw it here this is our one centimeter button what we're gonna do instead of making our we know our button is one centimeter we're gonna make our button hole one and a half centimeter so on each side you put quarter inch quarter inch so this side get quarter right and this side get quarter so we end up with 1.5 centimeters. So this one here is going to be 1.5 centimeter. All right. So this here, this buttonhole here, all these here, you, you see the arrow pointing, it represent the buttonholes then. Okay. So when you're making your buttonhole, remember the 2.5 centimeter button have to, the hole have to be, the buttonhole have to be three centimeter okay no the two centimeter button the button hole have to be 2.5 centimeter all right the 1.5 centimeter button the button hole have to be two centimeter all right the one centimeter button the button hole has to be 1.5 centimeter. The button hole has to be 1.5 centimeter. All right? Always remember. So this represents this. Okay? So always remember. So this is how to use this ruler here. Okay? So this button marking... Let me just cover back these marker because it tends to get hard very quick. I don't know why, but it tends to dry out. I don't know why they're drying out. Yes, yeah, so this is the buttonhole. That they on this ruler here. You see the Gaddy buttonhole guideline here? And you see it have this piece here, this curving piece. That is this piece here that we add the half inch, a quarter inch on each side. Okay? So this is how you use this ruler here. Alright? Now this little hole that I put here, this is for a very small button. This measure the same one centimeter, but this is for how the ruler that I create that hole there for. Right? I designed the hole there for. So this is how we use this button for ruler. Right? This button ruler. Now this one here look like this. This button here is the same one. This is the one that the um two centimeter button, right? And you use it the same way as you use this one here let me just draw down the line let me just draw a line across so do the distinction right so this is the first one there's the plastic rule that we use and this one here we're using this the same way well, they didn't have any measurement on this one here this one didn't have no measurement for sure you will what is this but according to this one here that i measure this is this one here Okay, this is the two centimeter arm ruler. And you do the same with the two centimeter. You measure it out. Okay, you measure out. Let me get a marker that's marking for you. You do the same measure out as how we measure in here. All right, you use this and you measure out. This is your button. Okay, this is the button. You place it the same way. All right. I'm going to place some more here. So this is the front, wherever you wire your button. 
or let's say you want it on the side here you place your buttons wherever you want to place your button all right and this is two centimeter so we're gonna make this button hold 2.5 centimeter a quarter inch quarter inch on each side so this would be this button hole all these here all right this would be this button hole here and it would be this button hole here this representing all these button here okay so this is how you use this rule just as how you use this rule here so if you have these two ruler i hope you understand how to use them okay so let me just do a refresh for you so this is a 2.5 centimeter right button this is our button hole here we need to make it three centimeter all right the two um the two centimeter button this is the button hole here we need to make the button hole 2.5 centimeter the 1.5 button hole which is this here we need to make it two centimeter now the one centimeter button hole which is this one here we need to make this 1.5 centimeter so when you do this you get all of your button hole correct the button would um slip through very easy right into the button hole so that it won't um so that it won't too tight or it won't be too big all right so this is how i use these two ruler i hope i was able to make um this video very easy quick and understanding understandable for you guys so i hope you guys understand me what i'm trying to demonstrate here if you understand please let me know below and i hope i was able all right so this is the demonstration that i give to you on a white background so that you guys can understand how to use the ruler them that i have in this video here most of you or may have or may not have this ruler here so this is the simple demonstration i could do for you on a white background so that you guys can see exactly what i am doing so i hope i was able to make this video easy quick for you guys and i hope it i hope you learned something from it and if you like this video please leave your comment below and remember share my channel and subscribe to my channel so that you can hit that notification bell so that you guys won't miss any video from me i love you guys and i'm determined to stay with you guys to do more right for you guys as long as jehovah give me the health and strength i will try my best to see if i can post video every week for you guys so that i can keep you guys memory fresh right so have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next tutorial and remember hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel share it as well and leave your comment down below hit like if you like this video bye bye and take care